Alright, so yeah, it's in Doom. Uh, Arcadia.wad. Okay. Here it comes, because it's taking a long time. It is, yeah. It's, it's a yeah, it's a it's a big level. So yeah, this is like this is the entire section of Bioshock that I worked on. So it's right. like it's actually kind of like two levels. So yeah, this one's weird because like it is just trying to kind of replicate like in Bioshock, it's it, you know it's it's all underwater, and so like this is like the bulkhead wind door windows, mm -hmm. and so I was and there's bubbles blue. coming up. Yeah, so, those so are I was like using the, the blue the blue torch for like the bubbles. Yeah, <laughs> um, water. It's under underwater. Yeah, yeah. It's just to kind of give that feeling that it's underwater. Yeah, and luckily this port has that glow, so it helps it. Yeah, yeah. Doomsday does a really nice yeah, job of really printing cool. things up. This yeah, just using like rock geometry. The and, jagged the jagged two left sided lines everywhere. Oh yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, like a guy on the, uh, it was the Doom World forums, uh, oh, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was like, I was like, hey, I'm working on this level, uh, does anybody want to make music for it? And this guy volunteered and did a track, and it was like, cool. I didn't really know what to Maybe. do for, for Bioshock. Um, yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's, in the, it's in the WAD as, a muse, as, a, as an MUS file, but I think it's basically like on this version, it's going to be playing through MIDI, you know? So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I did a custom skybox oh. art, like you know, I oh, yeah, changed yeah. the sky such that it Under looks water, like, yeah. yeah, I used deluxe paint to make <laughs> to, to make a <laughs> retro piece of art. That's funny. It. Yeah, it's funny when you look at the game's palette too, and like yeah. how we had to deal with the size of you know the amount of colors that we had. Yep. And thinking about that, think about Quake. Yeah. Because there are levels of darkness per color. Yep. That, that's that right. Really yeah. Really restricted yeah. the palette. Yeah. 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 So this is actually like there's a secret here that um, I couldn't replicate exactly in uh, yeah. there's a, in 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 Bioshock like you have um, there's like there's two torches but one of them is unlit on the wall yeah. and you use the the fireball plasmid yeah. power to uh, to light the second one and then it and then that door opens you know so it's kind of like it's kind of like in Zelda you know like when you when it opens up a thing whereas here I just made it a shootable I was like yeah, yeah, yeah. what can I do with this I'll just make it a shootable yeah that's so, cool yeah. that it's sitting right there yeah and is it visible in Bioshock is that thing visible well the thing or there's not really like it's just an torch. empty torch it's a, oh, it's an unlit torch, torch. Got it. and so you hit it with your fire and then it comes on and then okay. the door and, and then the doors the door swing door. open um, and it, this is just like a little catacomb you know that's got like some stuff in it you know I love the spine yeah yeah <laughs> brain yeah yeah doom 2 had some had some of those really great decorations so yeah it's just like a catacomb crypt type nice. thing nice and then you get the chain gun a little early because that's cool you know i didn't want to like give the player a and also yeah it was a chance to use some of the green marble stuff yeah yeah i get a lot yeah, of i use love of... the green marble the green marble is one of my favorite textures too. yeah so yeah um uh, Oh, that's another one. That's yeah. That's where you yeah. came out of. Um, okay. Let me see. Yeah, and then there's the armor. So this whole area is just kind of so quiet. So I came out of here. Yep, yeah. There's that. Go through there. Yeah. Kind of go through there and come back out. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of raised stuff everywhere. Yeah, because this area had like natural terrain, yeah. and so I was <laughs> like, you know, really <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna make this look as, you know, as good as I can. Uh, Minecrafty. And that's like a little waterfall. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. So this path here. Yeah. In. Um, have you been to Epcot? Uh, yeah. Epcot. Yeah. So in yeah, the not American in a while, but... Pavilion, mm -hmm. there's Liberty Square, mm -hmm. and there's a. Um, like a brown cement uh, path that mm -hmm. goes through. I mean, it's a, there's a giant walkway, but in the middle of the giant walkway is a brown cement path. Yeah. That looks a little river-ish, like a, kind okay. of like a yeah. river going down the center. Right. And, and most people don't think about it. Like, it's just like there's, okay, they decided to change the texturing for some reason. Like, this is different, right? Yeah. But there's this walkway here. Yep. But... Uh, the reason why they did that is is it's a reference, and it doesn't. It, it's just a different color of cement, you know. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's right. a reference to uh, back in back in the colonial days. That was the sewer, was the middle of the road, 
Oh, like it flowed wow. Through okay. All the buildings okay, in the yeah. center of the road. Yeah, it yeah. It just went out of town like that. Yep. So it's like, yeah. it was a reference, but not a disgusting reference. Right. It still, yeah. It still yeah, looks yeah. okay, but it's a little, here's some history. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Disney, Disneyland and Epcot and, you know, amusement park design is like a really good level reference point, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We are huge Disney fanatics. And it's funny, mm. there's a lot of, there's a lot of really good Disney design books out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Which a lot of game designers and level designers just basically go like, the, these are the books everyone needs to read. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, people don't usually think about Disney when they, we just kind of gravitate towards it because of the design of the park and, mm -hmm. and everything is so yeah, yeah. detail oriented. Yeah. Okay, solid. I like the song. Yeah. Yeah, because it's really like it's good for exploration here. Okay, there it is. Oh, nice teleportation. <laughs> yep, two sided lines all over the place, right? Did you hide them? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's back that way. Okay. Which is where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happens in that level, huh? The yeah. Dude yeah. is like, yeah, is the guy's messing you with you. Um, it depends. Like, if you open fire first, then yeah. he'll then he'll start attacking you. Because he's in fight mode. But yeah, so if he's not in fight mode. Then yeah, but most just... of the time he's you know he's just kind of like being evasive and stuff. So yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice seeing you know, like that. Yeah. Just those ocean windows everywhere, you know, just always Some seeing green outside. In there. Some green, yeah. In that texture. Yeah. Cool. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, why didn't. Uh... What? Over here? Yeah, where. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm actually wondering if. Yeah. This is the old level. No, <laughs> no. No, you have to see if it actually is there. Yeah. I'm wondering why that guy didn't. Uh, oh, that guy should have teleported in. You won't see me now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang. Okay, yeah. I guess. Um, he will. Yeah, that like yeah, that guy was supposed to tell like as you came through that door, that guy was supposed to teleport in like right in front of you, and that's when you actually fight him. But <gasps> yeah, I've, I've I've never seen that before. Well, that's that's demo luck for you. Yep. Yeah. If there's a programmer around, it's gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that was just like the intro to the teleporting enemy, and then yeah, and then the rest of the level cool. kind of just proceeds, you know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's always really oh nice. It's always cool playing playing the maps, logs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, people are just people are still making stuff, you know. Is it like, crazy? Yeah. It's 20, 21 years later. It's still, you know, and level design has gotten so good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. With, even with Doom levels. The, yeah, the absolutely. The deathmatch. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Those deathmatch uh, compendiums that they put out there, those megawads. Yep. Are nuts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I usually go on like, you know, every so often, and just see what see what the community has done recently, and you know. Yeah, they're, they're, it's funny their standards. Oh, their standards get you know, got really really high. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which is really great. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> texture alignment. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. Different texture too. Is Isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. Or is it just that one's thin? That's the thin one. Yeah. That's the big blast thing. Those, these are the same. That's that. Yeah. Right? That's that. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So yeah, just bottom peg. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Boy. This is what the community does, right? Yep. And it's so funny because I, I had mentioned in an, in, when I was doing the IGN walkthrough and I was just like, you know, I if I put another level out there right now, they would take me apart. Yeah. Like they would yep. shred me apart because of yep. their standards and stuff. And then I get people, because I said that in there, I get people emailing me saying, no, we won't, no, we won't.
you defined everything, you know. And, uh, and it's funny because I'm just like, oh, yes, you will. <laughs> you know, he's not worth shit, shit anymore. You can't design anything, you know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, just yeah. I, I, they will. That's just what they do. Yep. Um, but, I, but I have thought about doing that, especially um, like quake levels. Mm -hmm. Have you seen um, Trench Broom? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That That's amazing. an amazing tool. Yeah. I wish I had that when I was making Quake. Yeah. <laughs> Levels would have been even cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I love those little plats like that. I use that so often. Yeah, yeah. In, so this uh, is actually just like a double back. You know, this just lets yeah. you back into the into the same area. Yeah, I like that little. Yeah. How that works. This beginning of the like, you know, in the original Bioshock version of this level, like, there was a lot of different like, you know, there's a lot there's like story stuff going on, you know, where yeah. somebody's talking to you on the radio and all this other stuff. So, like, the flow is, is like, really, you know, it's a very complex flow for the beginning of a level, you know. Yeah. You feel like you've been, like, all these places, you know. Um, but, really? yeah. I like this. I like the wood in the corners. That's cool. Were you, um, were you kind of, like, making, making a Doom 2 version of the Bioshock level to kind of see, like, could this have been done back then? And like you know, it's like sh the visuals are not like today's visuals, yeah. but yeah, the yeah. gameplay have been similar. With yeah, it was kind of like I mean, it was. Uh, I actually made this after we shipped Bioshock Two, so this was like a while after I had made this level. Yeah. Um, and I was just messing around with a Doom editor because I was like, I remember Doom editing being really fun, and I was kind of getting <laughs> back into it. Yeah. And then I was playing around with something, and I realized that I could use those monster teleport triggers yeah. to get something like the teleporter enemy yeah, intro. That and I did kind of that first area like sort of as a proof of concept. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, this, this will work. I can, I can, can do totally this. totally replicate it. And then I was like, well, geez, does this mean that I have to make this entire level, you know, in Doom? <laughs> and I was having enough fun that I was like, well, yeah, sure, I'll, to well. I'll totally do that, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, and I just like, this, this basically, making this level kind of got me back into Doom and by the, by the end of the time making it, um, uh, by the end of the time making it, like I, I had kind of remembered like all the things oh, that I had appreciated about Doom, and 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 so I wrote that article, um, lessons from Doom, that was like yeah, just sort that of kind was of really trying good. to cool. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. That was good. Did you did you um, um, uh, Matthias Schwartz? Have you seen his? Yeah. Yeah. His talk on yeah. That? Yeah. Yeah. That that talk was excellent. Yeah. And yeah, like I remember talking with him about it and stuff like that. We didn't quite work together. I mean, like I guess. He's worked with folks that I've worked with. Yeah. Know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a really great presentation, and yeah, he, he, uh, yeah, he's a smart guy. Yep. Yeah, I've known him for a really long time. He, he did some, day. yeah, and he did some really important. He did some really good Doom levels back in the yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, he's super great. Oh, yeah. But yeah, he's. It's great that he wrote that because it's it's funny how here's all these things. Yeah. We're already here, you know, the graphics have changed, but like... Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you guys copy some more and innovate off of yeah. some of the stuff that's already been here? Yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of like the graphics arms race mentality took over. Yep. Everyone only cared about the latest engine and not the latest design. It, yeah, you know? totally. Yeah, yeah. And at our, and at our, um, in our program, you know, my wife's my uh, MS program at UCSC, we're like, the programmers, they're all, they, have to, they have to code to take this course. You can't be in this master's course unless you can code, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna teach you how to design. Mm -hmm, <laughs> and mm -hmm. you have to be able to make Yeah, that's game. cool, that's cool. So, so what we do is like when they get there is like, congratulations for knowing how to code. That's really cool. I like seeing this guy. Right here. You, got, you, you have picked a great vocation that will earn you good money, you know, uh, being able to code, but um, when it comes to games, design beats programming, right? Like you could be the yeah. best programmer in the world writing the worst game. Yeah, and yeah, no yeah. one cares. Yep, right. Yep. But yeah. if you are not very good as a coder, but you can kick ass with yeah. design, you win. Yeah, totally. You yeah, know? yeah. I mean, the indie games explosion that's happened Minecraft. in the last few years. Minecraft says yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Minecraft says. Minecraft says more than people even like understand. People don't even like understand how much money Marcus has made from from. Oh Minecraft. yeah, yeah, yeah. No one has yeah. made that much money in the game industry. 
yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's all just it's all just him, you know. Like it's, it's just him, you know, yeah. compared to like a publisher taking it or whatever. He yeah. did the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the cool thing, and the cool thing is he, um, he said the reason why I got in the in the industry is because of you. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, and uh, you know, he just kicked ass. That's such an amazing game design. It yeah. Just, it changes everything. If people people pay attention to it, like. People didn't pay attention to all of the things that were in Doom, and, and people aren't paying attention to all of the things that were in Minecraft. Yeah. Um, yeah otherwise, yeah. you would see most games trying to create as you play in some way, right? Yeah, but yeah. People are so fixated on destruction. Yep. You know, like that's the be all end all of design, but it's not when you yeah yeah when you look at what Minecraft is because Minecraft has killing in it, you know, to, yeah. you know just trying to survive as sure. survival. Yeah, yeah. But um, but it has but creation, creative. which is more more powerful. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. um, but it's like who's gonna take and run with that? You know, all the all the all I see are clones of Minecraft and not like. The yeah. essence of Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Turned into something else interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and Minecraft definitely wouldn't have wouldn't have been made. It, it wouldn't have worked if he had tried to, you know, go really high fidelity with the graphics. You yeah. Know? It yeah. was like specifically embracing like I mean it's lower res than Doom, you know? Yeah. Like it's way lower res than, and it than doesn't Doom. Hurt it at and all. that's why that's why, you know. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty stingy with the ammo in this level, just because, you know, it also kind of, like, it's, you know, big and non-linear and sprawling, and so, like, kind of just depends on where... It's funny how that guy is like the gunshot, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the little skull? Oh, yeah. good, he's going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, where's the ammo? I think a that was a more... teleporter in Doom 1, remember? Oh, oh really? Yeah, oh, okay. One. There was one area that had that as a teleporter. It was, in, it was at the end of a hallway. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, look at that. Kill him. Nope. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good, good work. Yeah, but that's like, you don't see that in any other game. <laughs> that's Kevin's arm. <laughs> but yeah, you don't see, oh, there's maybe. Yep, that's him. Bad. Guess what I have to do. <laughs> Eager Beaver. <laughs> Guarantee nobody ever said that when they were using this. <laughs> what? I like how I kind of get connected to him and I can't get away from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's locks like, you on to him. It yeah. locks you on and yeah. get out. And I have to use it to survive. And I have to get some health somewhere. Yeah, there's some health. Okay, not going that way. Oh, I hear him. There he is. Let's see. Is is this where I was coming up and he kind of disappeared on me right there? Uh, or no. Is this yeah, it was like where he was coming out, basically. Oh, well, I don't have that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the bit where normally, like, there's a character who comes on a monitor and it's like, I'll let you into this area if you can bring right me. There. If you can bring me a red rose. Oh. Okay. And so I was like, okay, the red skull key is kind of the closest oh, yeah, yeah. thing I have to a red rose, you know? <laughs> it's so funny, you're like, we're just making Doom over again, <laughs> over and over in every game. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the symbols are different, what the hell? Oh, that hurt. So oh, you picked up some shells, it looks like. Titanium. There we go, yeah. Titanga was the name of the base yep. uh, on uh, that. On Phobos. Yeah. The original name. So that's the only reference to Titanga that anyone sees. Yeah. I think it was just kind of like. Wow. There we go. Okay, this was the teleportation fun. I guess it was. That was a new door, so I have not seen this. Or have I? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> ah, look at that. Yeah, yeah and that's that's it. the one that, that that one like slams shut right as you come yeah. in just to be like, okay, this yeah. is yeah. Not gonna does it do that in Bioshock? 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, it's th that's the part where um, the Blue thing that I skulls stack up. <laughs> <laughs> This is the part where, like, because this is like the forest area in okay. Bioshock, you know, they had like this undersea forest that produced oxygen and stuff. Um, and that's like the blue, th the blue gate is kind of like, uh, like the bat, the main bad guy in the game, like pumps in gas and kills off all the forest. Oh, wow. And, and I couldn't do like a level wide texture change <laughs> yeah. easily. So I just had like those gates come up, you know, but right. it does establish that, like, okay, the main goal of this level is to get the blue key. Like, that's sort of the top level thing. Right. Um, and then this red, the red skull is like just kind of the intermediate goal. How did that people like this when they got it? Uh, when they played it. Oh yeah, yeah. People, people dug it. Like um, it won a CAC award on oh, nice. uh, on uh, on Doom World. Um, you know, I mean, those are just like they they give out those awards to like a, a set of levels each year. Nice. Um, and, did and you do? I was one of them. Did you do? Um, this was the only one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only modern level that I've released. Um, yeah. Like, but you, it's, you made a bunch of Doom levels before, but you never released them? That level I made way back in the day, and it was just kind of, you know, it, I don't know. It, it was, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't a very good mapper back in the day. That was, you know, that was sort of before my level design career really began in earnest. So I was just in high school messing around. Um, How often do you code? Um, well, I program just on my project at Double Fine, you know, okay. like I'm, I'm, I'm project lead, but I do like design and programming both, yeah. you know, and then there's a, there's a main programmer who, you know, does like a lot of the heavy lifting. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I program stuff all the time in my spare time and, you know, just, yeah. And then like doom mapping, you know, I <laughs> do that off and on on the side. And, uh, this is a big level. It is, yeah, yeah. Like, and this is even just like we've mostly just been over half of it because it's like the two, it's the two load zones, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's like really, it's big and nonlinear, and yeah, just because you know, and like in Bioshock, you have like people explaining, oh, you know, like you know, you, you get a little it, yeah. bit of radio about like, okay, you need to go here and do this, um, and so yeah. So I was trying to like kind of. You know, I didn't want to like put up a whole bunch of roadblocks to the player necessarily in this one, but uh, you know, just having keys just means that like, okay, yeah, well, I can only go here now. Yeah. And so yeah. You can stop progress. Um, so yeah, it's like if I were just designing something like this from scratch as a, as just a Doom level and it wasn't intended to be this complicated homage, mm -hmm. then there's definitely things I would do differently. Like you don't want to show people all three kinds of doors right up front, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. be like, okay, now you've got to find all these and remember to backtrack and stuff, but. You know, I was trying to mirror the, the structure of the level, like what you see in what order and stuff, so. Cool. Yeah, and this is circular right here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny. One of the reasons why I like this house is because it's completely circular. Oh, cool, Everything yeah. Everything loops. Yeah, yeah, sense. yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just a fun space to move flow. through. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, yep. this is the house. Good DM flow. Yeah, the house that we, that we, that we want to buy has really great flow. <laughs> like, you can go everywhere in loops in this house. Like nice, yeah. Even yep. going out on this deck. Right. Out it's the a, door, in the other door. Yep, yeah. You, you can go outside the whole house. Yeah, come in yeah. A door here, go all the way down the hall, and out another door. Yeah, that's and awesome. It's just loops everywhere. Yeah. So I was like, this, has, this place has great flow. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It makes a difference, like, you know, Something psychologically, well designed. yeah, it's you know. well designed. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to get, uh, let's see, the yellow, the red key is back that away. Like I think it's just about every, like you've been just about everywhere. This way. So off to the right, and then that door up ahead there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought. I, so this uh, is really just kind of a little like a shotgun there. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> this is like. Um, in the level, in the in the original Bioshock level, there were like three guys there who were attacking a, a, a fourth guy. Yeah. And so I put like a dead demon there that three imps had beat up. And nice. The, <laughs> it's just using like weird Doom yeah. analogs for like just every little thing you can. And yeah. If people, yeah, you know, people that played Bioshock would know exactly what you were doing. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah, like it, 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 it's most effective when you've played. Yeah, and then there's like some, uh, there's some uh, machine gun turrets. Uh, in, in the original Bioshock level, so I yeah. used the chain gunner guys for, for that. Oh, that's that's yeah. the machine gun turrets. Yeah, that's and then cool. those are the red roses. <laughs> nice, like they're growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy was cool. We really liked putting this chain gun dude in. Yeah, he's tough, you know, like because yeah. he's, he's hit scan, and so he just pumps out a bunch of damage. I think his name is Chain Gun Dude. Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah. Oh, seriously. 
personally what happened. <laughs> I wanted to make sure the super shotgun was a good moment. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very much needed. <laughs> and this is a weird little backtrack secret. Like, oh, you come know. out here and you've been here before. Yeah, like, this yeah. is way earlier in the level, and it's just because this was like a closet, basically. Yeah, that, you I know, did. that yeah. had some goodies in it. But yeah, that's funny. I didn't see it. Yeah, but yeah, and you can double back through the teleporter oh, there, like. That. Okay, in here? Yeah. Yeah, because it was locked. Yep, uh -huh. yep. Yeah, the song is great. The song matches it really well. Yeah. Oh, and I, I, did, a, um, I did a color palette shift. You know, like this isn't Doom's original palette. Yeah. Like I took Doom's original palette into deluxe paint and then okay. I like did some color shifts yeah. so that everything is kind of like more bluish and yeah, like blue tinted. Thing, so yeah. it feels more like, you know, like when, when light's coming in from outside, it feels like it's it's that eerie yeah, that's blue. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, so now you can go back to that, that red locked door. Never. Yeah, that was like in the tunnel. It's just a little looky-loo out into the thing. That way? Uh, the other way. Like, yeah, through there. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And so this is like one of those ocean tunnels, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. Right there. So, yeah. See how. And See how. A, a tree growing in. Yeah. And they area. have like these trees growing in tubes. So, you know, that you could create there a pretty direct. Tree in a tube. <laughs> yeah. We had that in Doom too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, different... You know, it's really funny. So recreating like a modern game in here, it's hilarious that there aren't a million traps in all the stuff that you find in a Doom level. Yeah, yeah, you know, yep, yep. All kinds of, sh you know, things or platforms going all over the place and everything. Yeah, it's like yeah. very tame. It is pretty tame, you know? yeah, yeah. Although I, I definitely start doing some stuff, like the level the level starts, yeah, there's the more guys start coming in, like, because like in Bioshock, um, like, if you double back through an area, it, there's, like, a repopulation system. Oh, nice. So they're all, like, you know, so just, like, when you're away, when you come back, it's, like, somebody else has, it's, like, other dudes are passing through nice. the level. And so I really just do that with, like, a combination of teleports and hatches opening and stuff like right. that. Like you, like you were showing in, in you know, in, in E1M7. Right. You know, just making the, you know, and then, like, as you double back, it feels like the level breathes a lot more, you know, and is alive. Um, but I can tell that this was this wasn't made with Doom in mind, right? right. Yeah, because yeah. of the, yeah. all of the crazy platforming stuff and switches and stairs yep. growing and just all the Doom things. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It relies a lot more just like on static architecture. Yeah, um, which is funny because that's like well, a lot of because it takes so long to make the static architecture. It does. Yeah, games, yeah. Yep. And yep. to make the kind of gameplay, Doom has a completely different kind of gameplay. Yeah, you know? totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The numbers. Look 3D-ish. See? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that something is that something Doomsday it's does? It's the Doomsday or? thing, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's kind of cool. Ooh, nice. And this is like a science lab yeah, type yeah, thing, you know? Cool. So I don't know, yeah. There were There was one library in Doom 2, I think. Monster Condo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So yeah, I was really just kind of trying to use tech stuff here and make it yeah. feel like a lab with, you know, with this tech and plants Victorian and stuff like that. Books. <laughs> yeah. I do like that, you know, like yeah, Doom's yeah. texture diversity is pretty good, really. You know, because there, yeah. there's tech stuff, there's hell stuff, there's like gothic and like, you know, oh, you can do a lot with that. Yeah, yeah it was just, I don't know, Rotating. just one of the sciencey gizmo thing. And then, yeah, there's one of those trees in the... Yeah. Nice. Back to the thing. Okay, so I've got yeah. the other here. Down here. This area, and you know, there's areas in the game where the floor, where there's like a foot of water on the floor because it's leaking oh, and yeah. stuff like that. So, you know, I just use like water floor <laughs> to... There it is. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. remember the name. What's that? It's water floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. These are just like oh, machines with, yeah. Just having spaces between them. I think they were like connected by hoses to the ceiling. And yeah. so I was like, yeah, what can I, how could I do that? And I was like, yeah, yeah maybe use that tech column, you know? Yeah, and you have the yeah. opening around it too. Yeah. It makes it look cooler. Yeah. Because that's, you know, that's a, that's a whole nother sector on top of that. Thing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Surrounding with a glow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. 
This is cool. I like the way it looks. These are like ocean tunnels. Nice. I thought about doing a custom texture for these ocean tunnels, yeah. but I figured like as soon as I started doing custom textures, like you're gonna go all it might the take way. it might take yeah. me like a year to make this thing, yeah. you know? Yeah, then, then um, you're like, well then what else do you change? Ooh, so, that looks really good. I like that. Yeah. And so this is Whoa. this is the bit where, yeah, like you finally meet a, another living character who's like alive and, and, and sane. Yeah. And but the door seals and the you know, Andrew Ryan like pumps gas into the room and kills them. And so I was like, okay, how do I, how do I do that with this? All right, I'm just gonna have the the, the, the impaled body. I love it. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. That's cool. I think that's the first time I've ever seen an impaled guy rise up on a rise platform. up. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice room. Yeah. yeah and and it looks it out. Here. It looks out into the blue thing. And so then you realize, like, okay, now I've got to go get the blue key card to to get that. <laughs> and it's sitting right here. <laughs> Oh, but I get the yeah. little key card. Yeah, and look the, at that. The, normally, like the common, like the key to the market is like in a combination safe, like behind a painting. Oh, so nice. I was like, okay, cool. I got a There's painting. A painting you know, too. Doom provides. <laughs> you know, isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. And that's like a mystery. What is that? Yeah. I don't know. Is that yeah? Is there a story behind that one or? Kevin did that. It's just kind of a creepy gothic, gothic, like gothic a guy, looking. Yeah, it looks like a dude. Yeah. Um, did you have much back and forth like when like when the textures for this for for Doom were getting made? Like, did y'all like just let them do whatever they want? Okay, they did whatever they wanted, and yeah. then you just kind of like yep, and then we just put it together. Figured out how it was to not do cool directed. stuff. It was okay. not like okay, I need these blue bricks, and then I'm gonna need a steel beam. Yeah. It was just like okay, yeah. You know, like a city bricks and steel stuff. You know, like, yeah. Okay. And they just right. made it. We yeah, yeah. We were, we were like, we didn't have to go back and forth a lot unless we, yeah. unless there was yeah. like, we need some bookcases mm -hmm. because I'm gonna have a library in this one room. Yeah. Which I yeah. think, what was the first time I saw that? Um, in Doom Two. I forget what uses the library. It might have been in Map Sixteen Suburbs, or yeah. That's where it was. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That was really good. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tough like one. Like first occurrence of a, a texture tough, in a the game. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Well, because you, you come know, back from the secret level, you know, yeah. and it's you're in that you're in a much more conventional environment. You and, know, yeah. you played too much Doom. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Especially the suburbs. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So can I go through here, or am I done? Um, no, yeah, you've got the yellow key now, and so you, yeah, this is actually like you're doubling back and okay. stuff. Yeah, you got to double back. And th so this is like, yeah, this is the first time that you have to double back, and so I've spawned in like guys that you know to like just be because they spawn back in the original game. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Doom provides for spawn. <laughs> it, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It's all just you know. It's so funny. Silly trigger tricks. You know. Did that make you think? Uh, like, think of anything like this game already did all the stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I've, I've, I've always like, I guess, I guess I've worked on a fair few FPSs, and I've always tried to like apply Doom to it, you know, as much <laughs> as I can. Especially if there was anything new about it, I guess that like that was not being used at the time. Yeah, I yeah. Forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, important with the plasma. Yeah, I love the plasma. Yeah, I really like how like it's a super lethal weapon, and it but it goes through ammo really fast, and and it also kind of obscures your view a yeah, little bit, you know. Yeah. So if you're using it up close, you're like, uh, I can't really see, but I know it's doing good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's doing good things. So yeah, you've already you've already been through here. Mm -hmm. um, you want to hint? Back. I yeah, can, yeah, yeah, I, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go, yeah. Go through. Go, go back through there towards the, towards the torch, and then uh, up through the. Well, oh, yeah. This is hello. a completely optional area. I've um, not been here. It's like a creepy <laughs> thing, and then yeah. I just need ammo. I love the weapon. He is the funniest when he punches. Yep. <laughs> the punch <laughs> sound. Yeah. The punch is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was. Yeah. I put that in there because I'm like, he has to have like a hilarious punch. <laughs> <laughs> like he's already got the scary rocket, and then he's yeah, really yeah. funny. Yeah, he's a genuinely scary enemy, but when he punches, it's it's like it's a it's a cartoon. Yeah, because he how exaggerated he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's like, just oh, throwing a haymaker. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, and I like I like that when you quit the game, a sound yeah. one of those sounds <laughs> plays, and so sometimes you'll get the yeah, sometimes yeah. you get the revenant <laughs> punch you get the punchy right you're before you quit. Out yeah. Of doom. Okay, so go through there and then take a left, <laughs> and then 
Yeah, like on through here, like over to the, like, sorry, back into the left. Yeah, there you go. Oh, things were happening. So yeah, there's dudes. Oh, close. Oh, that's funny. He's like continuing to go through. Yeah, I don't think a demon was real. like, yeah. A, in higher difficulties, it's a revenant doing that, oh, and nice. he's a lot more of a problem. Hello, rockets. So, yeah. Yeah, I used, uh, on map 26, I put some of these in the floor that you just kind of go boop, boop, boop over, and they trigger doors yeah. open in yeah. the secret okay. area. I think it's the only time I did that, too. So funny, like, little thing, just one little, like, I just went over something. Oh, yeah, because it's the same texture. Right, yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. Texture memories. Texture memory, uh -huh, so, get so it. So this is, oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is actually like this is that's a load zone. So this is like the back half of the of the level. Wow. Um, I don't even. <laughs> that's cool. So that's half the level. Yeah. How long yeah. did it take to make it? Um, I'm trying to think. Like. You know, my life. <laughs> <laughs> my whole life. It was like. Um, it was like a few weeks to just like get the whole thing built out. And then I probably spent a month like just doing all the texturing and lighting and stuff, yeah. you know? Like giving it all the detail work that you really kind of need, you know? Yeah. Because I realized that I had created so much space and I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna finish this, I wanna make it look good, yeah. you know, and like do this kind of moody lighting and stuff. Um, but yeah. So yeah, it was, it was like probably two months of work, just spare time, obviously. Um, I did some of it when I was on vacation in Australia after Bioshock 2 shipped. Um, <laughs> Everybody take a break. Yeah, 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 I, you know, yeah, I was decompressing by <laughs> doing more level design. Decompressing. <laughs> decompressing. I mean, this was, this was incredibly fun to, to, to make, you know, just because it was like getting back into Doom and just, you know, <laughs> relearning a lot why of stuff. Be, you're like, why can't it be this easy to build levels nowadays? <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, no, that, that's what it reminded me of. And so I was, you know, I've been, I've always been pushing to get back to that ease of level creation, you know, just being yeah. able to, to sketch stuff out really quickly. Yeah, a lot of um, it, you know, I think that a lot of it, it, I think it can be done, but I think it takes more design up front with the programmer ready to help, you know, yeah. like, yeah, to, yeah. To like one of the, like one of the classics of like in Quake, when we were making Quake, like, <laughs> Quake, like, why didn't we do more stuff with the editor in Quake? And one of the reasons why was because there was so much to do. It, it, I, I already yeah, had to yeah. make Quake easier than it was to make. Right. Because the way that John had made it originally was um, if you, you have a level and, like, say there's a door you're going to open. Mm -hmm. That door is a different map. That Whoa. door was in a different map with its own lighting and everything. Oh, and its yeah, own yeah. A BSP. Right. And then in the map where I wanted it, I had to create an entity that was the size of that thing. Right. right? And then I had to have a reference in it that pointed that BSP to load there. That's right. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, no way in hell are we making this game like that. Yeah. Because yeah. I basically had to make like a whole level full of these load up a separate map into here and it's a door. Yeah, and yeah. Bullshit. And same thing for like platforms, right? Like yeah, funk movers everything. and funk plats. and yeah, were yep. separate levels. Yep. And I'm like, oh, geez, this yeah. can't happen. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. not even lit properly with the environment that they're in because they're in their own map. Right, you know? yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I need you to take those brushes and put them at the end of the file. Yeah. As entities yeah, yeah. within the within the thing, be it processed yeah. Sure, yeah. and handled yeah, yeah. separately, but inside the same level file. Yeah. You know, so like that kind of work was like just trying to make it easier just to do the task of building those levels, which is already tedious. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was right. worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's like I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a um, like like what you would want to do nowadays when you put a, a, a torch on the wall is you just want to put a torch entity on the wall. Yeah. I'm just gonna yeah. put a torch here. Not I'm gonna put a, a torch bottom and then I'm going to put the flame that rotates on top then I'm going to put a light object yeah. and then yeah, I'm going to put yeah. a sound effect right yep right? all of this crap yep. and like yep. these have to be combined into one entity because I guarantee someone's going to screw up and forget something right and then you'll and have a torch the that game, makes no sound yeah, and it's yeah, ridiculous yeah. so so yep. like combining yeah, is super yeah. important 
for, for that. So like, yeah, can, yeah. you know, is that the way to make levels easier? Yeah. Like for, you know, like for current games, like, you know, to be yeah. able to do things. Quick, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Because you know? the, 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 those problems plague everybody. Like they plague the Gauntlet project that I was working on. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Here's a generator because Gauntlet had generators. Here's a generator. Right. Here's every single point outside that generator oh, like, that they can yep. spawn a monster yep. at. That'll and, kill you. And all of the connections to that. And then the, the generator entity is not is separate from the generator visual and all of this crap, it's yeah, like, yeah. why are we doing this? Yep. This is stupid. Yep. You know, like, totally. level designer's time is being spent hooking that crap up when they should have just went click. Yep. You yep. know? And so, totally, like, yeah. that's, I think, pretty key to, yeah, yeah. to trying to move forward to get back to decent times building these things. Yeah. Because if it wasn't so hard to make a secret room in Quake, there would have been a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unity's pretty good about that. Like you can bundle, it's really easy to build a thing prefab. and then bundle, yeah, 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 you have prefabs. So that's better than nothing. But yeah, it's always, <laughs> I think it's the eternal a lot struggle. Of, it's design, I think it takes a lot of design because yeah, a programmer yeah. wouldn't do that. A programmer doesn't yeah. think about combining that stuff. Yeah. That is really like, I'm a lead designer and I don't want my guys screwing up. Yep. I need this thing to be consistent and yeah. I don't want them to spend all day planting bushes and putting individual roses on it, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It should be, click, it's a rose bush, you know? Yep. And maybe there's a, a number on it that changes the model to the 10 that were made differently or something. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Well, probably also <laughs> harder too, but yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm sure. Work, oh, work smarter, not harder. What, you're not going to work hard? Ah, oh, sorry, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, work really, really hard and smart. <laughs> S smart. Definitely sounds like what y'all did on <laughs> on these on this project. Yeah, this just oh, there's the head man. But double barrel. Oh, don't mess around. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he needs to eat all the pellets. Yeah. I need to get all the health. Oh, look at that. I always wanted, um, I've been thinking about like doing like a short little mod or something because like ZDoom will let you modify so many things now. Yeah. I've always wanted to like make a mod so that if you hit a weak guy with all the pellets in the super shotgun, it yeah. jibs him. Oh yeah. Just because. Yeah, 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 even though it normally wouldn't. Yeah, it's yeah, it doesn't. Counting. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I laughed so hard when I put the extreme scream in Doom 2. You know, yes. The second one. Right, when you die from way over the Extreme, damage. yeah. Extreme hits. Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. And I put that in when we were deathmatching on Dead Simple. Like, that's the first oh, time nice. we okay. heard it. I was like, nice. okay, dude, get in there. We're going to yeah, fight, yeah. and I'm going to hear this. Yeah. You know? And so I, 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 that was where I was tuning the percentage, like, the, the de you know, how much there's the value, how much damage right. needs yeah. to happen yeah, for yeah, this yeah. thing. Because it can't go off all the time or it's not going to be funny anymore. Yep. Right. So, yeah. um, <laughs> and we, we made it. We made it really funny because it went off at the right time. Is this the uh, beginning? Wonder, nope. Yeah, well, this is the way you came. So, like, yeah, you do need to head deeper in. Um, this is not the... No, it's not. Yeah, I don't think this has opened okay. up yet. Like, I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, this is... You're, you're trying to get the blue key so that you can, you know, head back through all that. Here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then... Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's... I, lo I always love totally... the... I and the love thing the faces. is, it's moving, right? It didn't need to move. It's always, yeah. But you it's had always to make it move, move like yeah. Doom, right? Yep, yep, yeah. <laughs> E2, right there. Yeah. So yeah, go uh, like straight down that hallway, yes. basically. Um, or yeah, this this way works Same too. Thing. It's, it's all just a nope. it's all just a loop. No. Nope. Yeah. That's like yeah, a little. Yeah, in there. Wait. Yeah, yeah. There's a health I need to remember. Okay. And there's another one. Hey, you're good with health. Yeah, I'm being pretty generous in the health here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which way? Is that way? Um, oh, so just at the far end of this area yeah, here, yeah. There. Yeah. These were like, this is this was a farmer's market sort of thing where they were selling the food that they grew elsewhere in the level. And it's so, so funny. These are like little market stalls and stuff, yeah. This is like Tom when he's making like hover tank. <laughs> <laughs> and hover tank was like Wolfenstein, pure squares. Yeah, yeah, right? but like, but no textures, right? No it was textures. just like flat. Yeah. So he's yep. like, he put a green block down. And he's like, that's a tree. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like rows of trees. Yeah. He's like, dude, they're blocks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a farmer's market. Do you see the fish? <laughs> you know, <wait. laughs> they totally. grow fish in the farmer. Yep. Um, yes. 
Yep, there he is. Yep. You had to stick him in there. Yeah, yeah. There were like some, I don't know, there were like hanging dead bodies in here or something. And so, yeah. <laughs> but what was the so King I had reference put... in Bioshock? What was that? There was, uh... <laughs> there wasn't one, was there... Yeah, I don't think there was any. I think I was just like, this was a place where they were hanging bodies. And so it's like, okay, this is, if I can put the keen anywhere, it's going to be here. The keen? Yeah. Did you ever put a dope fish anywhere? No, no, no I didn't. Yet? No, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm trying to think, like, yeah, have I worked on a game that's had a dope fish reference? Um, I don't know. It's like I need to, the yeah. Wilhelm scream. Of yeah, no, totally. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I absolutely. I always put that in. Yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> Even modern games are, are still referencing. Yeah, them. totally. Yeah. Is this the right way? Yeah, yeah, this is the yeah. way forward. Okay. So off to the oh, left yeah, yeah. is like a totally optional area where you can get the BFG. Um, Hello, BFG. <laughs> this yeah. is the first time uh, that I've seen two doors like that in here. Like I can go that way or that way. Right, yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing that. E2M5. I think yeah. I would always use, um, like there's those chambers that uh, resurrect you if you die in that Bioshock. That's really good right there. Um, yeah. Those doors and that in the middle. Yeah, cool. Um, and needle. Ooh. So this is like in the game. This is the apiary. So like uh, there are these bee boxes, you know, like it's 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 where the beekeeping was. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, like Crap. so it's like all kind of like bio and you know, and then there's these things that that spawn bees at you, and so you know. Made sense to put the pain elemental there. Yeah, yeah. He's just spawning, he's spawning swarms of flying dudes at you. Oh, yeah, that guy was like the worst. Yeah, that guy always like. I always want to prioritize him, you know, just yeah, because he's, he's the gonna first one to kill. He's <laughs> gonna be a bigger problem later. Oh, oh yeah, and then hurt. like the yeah, the like the yeah, the the alien slime floor. Alien. That dude died in it. Yep. Yep. I like the timing on it too. It's not always you're not always gonna hit it, but like intervals of time, if yep. you're on it, you will get hit. Right. Yeah. Now something's gonna really get it. Although I don't want to blow all the plasma. See, this guy doesn't deserve BFGs, would he? Him too. <laughs> Double barrel's a great weapon. Okay. <sighs> okay, so here's the end of this. There's that thing. Yeah, you can't get up there, and that, that's that's, it's that's, never gonna that's something I regret. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, because oh well, yeah, you can get in there. I think you get like that. The other, the other little, that other little alcove, like right, right there. Yeah, yeah, you can stand on that table and get up there. Well, I don't think there's anything. Maybe it's I only in I, hard mode that there's something there. Or uh, maybe you already got it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I got it. Yeah, but yeah. So that's just like a totally optional area in the original, and so that was the way out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then. And then the off to the door left door is is the thing, and this is like the final real area of the level. It, it's the winery, yeah. So like it's you know, pouring out red yeah, wine. it's pouring out blood, you know, and all that. Yeah. You mean red uh, wine? Yeah. <laughs> um, and this is like a little restaurant cafe type space up nice. front. Nice, love it. Um, Shut up. Nice. <laughs> wow. He Whoa. Totally he didn't. Took the BFG. What's yeah. Me? Something back here. <laughs> wow. I can't believe you ate that. And this is like the bar with <laughs> bottles with <laughs> bottles behind it, you know. That's yeah. awesome. Doom the doom abides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, yeah, and there were definitely mine. places where, like, I took it, like, there were there were decorations in the original Bioshock. Oh, actually, yeah, here we Jeez. go. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, like, this is just a recreation of uh, my Pac-Man reference. Oh. Uh, in Like, my, the Pac-Man reference was in Bioshock. Oh, nice. So, like, there's, there, you know, there's wheels of cheese all over the place here, because, like, there's mm -hmm. some in the market, and then there's some here, they're and there's some in the market. They're like hidden Mickeys or hidden Pac-Mans, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And so here, there was, like, specifically, like, one wheel of cheese that I placed in the level editor. Yeah. And there was, like, the wheel of cheese with the perfect, like, slice taken out of it. And then, you know, there were bullet hole decals. 
you know, where you could show like, oh yeah, a firefight took place here or something. So I put a line of bullet decals <laughs> like right, right next to, yeah. It. And here, like I use shot, the, shot, the shotgun shells that you picked up. Oh, Those are kind of like the dots. Nice. So yeah, like, wow. so I was able to recreate my Pac-Man reference in, the, in Doom from Bioshock, nice. so yeah. So was, you yeah. put Pac-Man in Bioshock. In Bioshock, yep. That's your game yep. reference. Yep, yep. Yeah. And I put Pac-Man and Wolfenstein. Yep, right. <laughs> Just carrying on the, the tradition. And, and my my couch right now has all the Pac-Man characters on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. so you uh, put Pac-Man in because. Just because, um, I mean, like. You love Pac-Man. <laughs> I yeah, I, I love Pac-Man, but also like, so this actually happened like I, I had been working on this part of the level, uh -huh. and I had been fighting, and there were wheels of cheese already placed. Like the artist had placed some like decor objects <laughs> and stuff like that. And after a firefight, and like, you know, your gun makes bullet holes in the floor yeah. and stuff in, in Bioshock. Um, and a firefight had happened just such, like I think I'd been fighting one of the big daddy enemies. And after the firefight, like the wheel of cheese had like tipped over onto the floor oh, wow. and it yeah, was like, kind of near some bullet holes, but like, it was kind of askew. Shoo. And yeah. I was like, wait a minute, if I just turned this a little bit. And so then I went back into the editor and, you put and, it on and, and put it in, yeah, put it on nice. purpose. So, you know, it was like part opportunistic, part just wanting to be a retro game. Has geek. anyone really figured it out? Oh yeah, yeah. Like really? within, within a week or two of the game coming out, people, people were like, there's a, there's a Pac-Man reference in bio. Oh, there, this nice. has to be a Pac-Man reference. <laughs> and they were right. And that yeah. That is cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. The floor is sharp. Mm -hmm. So this is descending into the wine cellar, uh, and, and this gets no really. Who and what? Oh, there's the there's the skull. Yeah, yeah. Try to give people a look at where they're going. But yeah, this this area is like very dark and maze like, just because that's how the original was partly. Okay. And is that can't the way go that way? Or? I can't go this yeah. way. Yeah. This way. Oh. Uh-oh. That sounded like a... Uh, was that an arch file? No, no that's just a revenant, yeah. <laughs> the arch file's got a really pretty cool sound. Yeah, the arch file's just spooky. Yeah, that was a cool idea, the revenant, or the arch file. The yeah. AI for that guy. Yeah, definitely. I love the whole... <laughs> everything flying off the Yeah, ground. yeah. And then there was the bug, of course, generator from that, where uh, he would revive, he would revive something that this... was pasted in a door. Oh, that's Just right. Smashed in a door. And it would be invincible, right? It's invincible. Yeah. yeah. It's like a ghost or whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Badness over here. Oh, that's what I need. After. Nice. And these are like big wine wine barrels, and so they're like dripping out all over the floor, and oh, then you nice. get the berserk power up, so you're you're drunk with power. So I can see. <laughs> yeah, drunk with power. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I can see, it's tinting it. No, don't go away. <laughs> and that's what I needed. Wow, you did it. You totally did it. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, like the whole level of, oh, a <laughs> big chunk of the level. I wasn't yeah. saving it. Yeah. That was pretty good for, that was yeah. a long time. Yeah. Well, there it is. There's <laughs> Cool, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? All right, so can you, um, let's see. Can IDDQD? You, can you, yeah, IDDQD and also IDKF, yeah. Give IDKF. yourself everything and then go into no clip, actually. Okay, so yeah, just go do, right. do, do, yeah, yeah. Straight to the right. Um, yeah, now you're outside in the ocean. Um, okay, now just go straight ahead, I guess. Now off to the right a little bit here. Oh, this is okay, yeah. dude. Yeah, okay, this, yeah, this is where you're supposed to be. And then like, flip the switch. and then flip the switch. <clears throat> yeah, now, now you can turn off no clip. Okay, cool. All right, and so then at the very end here, look straight ahead and walk through this door. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> and so like. <laughs> oh, who is, so, <laughs> who's that supposed to be? Well, that's uh, like, that is just purely Pure. a thing that I did for fun. Cause this is the very end of the level. This is the exit. <laughs> and so I wanted you basically you peeking and then you just peek out of sight like the G-Man or something, you know? Exactly. And it's just like, whoop. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, yeah. 
that's then that's great. the and then that's the end of the level. Like oh. that's where the bathysphere that takes you to the next level is. Oh, nice. Okay. So yeah. So anyway, yeah. Like you're wow. at the very you know at, at the very end of the level. <laughs> I, love that. I guess if you were if you were if you if you quick draw, then you could probably just kill yeah, that yeah, that the, the icon of sin and and end the and end the level. I was prematurely, moving, but it didn't go down until I went forward. So I could have just yeah. BFG. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But most of the time, people are like just trucking through that thing, yeah, and, and, and then like, and they and they just happened. Yeah, it just you just think you see it, but yeah. And then it goes normal. Yep. Back to normal. Yep, yep. So that's it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Coolness. Did well, you... thank you so much for playing. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. Any questions? About, I mean, I love talking about level design, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for just, yeah, pouring out all the all the stuff you know. That's it's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah.